and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Skims Swim review. Normally on this channel, it's just my memories. It's a little bit of vlog content, but I thought we would switch it up. I live in the middle of the Pacific where a swimsuit is very essential. I own so many. I love all different types of brands. So I thought this would be a fun change. To keep this pretty straightforward, I'm gonna cut the video into chapters. So hopefully that helps you if you have a specific question or there's something that you're curious about. The chapters being just like my history and experience with the brand, sizing, the styles I purchased, along with my first impression, as well as a little bit of a try on. I'm not a model, so don't come for me. As well as my overall thoughts, it released in March. It is now June, so perfect for summer. I know it's completely sold out, but hopefully they will bring it back. I can't see them not because it just sold out so quickly. If this is something that interests you or you're curious about the line, yeah, stay tuned. Also something to know, I purchase these styles with my lifestyle in mind which is surf beach that kind of thing so I didn't get any pieces that have a cutout just because I personally don't like that kind of tan I didn't get any of the biker shorts so just heads up if that's something that you're looking for but I will get into the styles as we go on my history with the brand I've actually never purchased anything from skims before I do like watching the Kardashians here and there but yeah I've always been curious about it never really gave it a go it was super rad and I was just scrolling on Instagram and I just came across of course Kim Kardashian's Instagram and there was a story that said launching tomorrow skim swim blah 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 and I was like what the heck this is so cool let me look into it whatever I looked on their page and immediately just saw all of the lifestyle imagery and really loved the colors I was seeing. I have worn so many different brands, seen so many different fabrics, etc, etc. That could be a whole video in itself. This swim is what really intrigued me about the brand, just because these are colors I've never seen before in swimsuits, so I was really drawn to them. The launch itself went very quick. I live in Hawaii, and I naturally just wake up really early for work, so I think I just got lucky, honestly, because there was something about it where the regular public was known to shop at X time, but because I was working early and I just wanted to peek at the product, I saw like add to cart and I was like, oh, what? This is already live a whole hour early. But anyways, I don't know how I fell into this. As I was adding things to my cart, things were just selling out. So things I wanted and colors that I wanted, they were no longer available very quickly. On the consumer side, the shipping went really smoothly. Like I got my items within five days, like from the date of putting it in my cart to the day that I think it took three days for them to turn it over to get it out into the post and then I had it two days later. So I did have to return a couple sizes. So that is one thing that took the longest. And I got my refund last week and that was, it's like mid June already, right? And if, if you only have 30 days to return the product, um, that was a really long time to get my refund. That's my only thing if you're gonna shop with Skims. Luckily the customer service is really responsive and they try to give you updates, but the refund itself, it just takes a while. As far as sizing goes, again, I've never purchased this brand before, so I had to do a little bit of just research as far as like what sizes I should purchase. I was really in between. I really didn't know what to do because I kind of feel like I'm between an extra small or a small, just depending on what kind of fit I'm looking for. Sorry about the construction or whatever is going out my window. Normally, I'm between a two and a four in like dresses. or are between a 25 to 26 pant. Uh, I'm 33 inches in the bust. Uh, what else? What else do you need to know? But on the skin size chart, it says extra small is between a zero and a two, and the small is between a four and a six. So you can see why I didn't know what to do, because I'm if I'm between a two and a four, I just didn't know what to do. I was even thinking, what if things just run super small in this brand? I had no idea what to expect. In the end, I got a mixture of sizes just to try it on. With tops, I tried on extra small and small, and with the bottoms, I just stuck with small. I ended up returning the small tops because I just felt like they didn't give me enough shape here. Like they fit, they both fit fine. There was nothing crazy about either of them, but the extra small just gave you a little bit of shape, which was nice. But the styles I purchased. So starting with my favorite, I got the swim cropped tee in gunmetal and this can be worn alone or you can layer it. They also recommend that you size down for a more fitted fit. So I got this in extra small. I tried it in small. 
an extra small but I saved the extra small thought the extra small would be better for surfing because of wipeouts what have you I'm not perfect I wipe out if you want to layer the tee you can do it with the swim tank top bikini so this is based off of their skins neck top the regular one so there's this extra band for it too honestly I love this on its own but Thinking about surfing, I thought if this were to fly up, it's just nice to have just a little bit of extra coverage under there. You can fully see like my nipple, but I don't really care about that kind of stuff. And then to pair with it, I got the mid-waist bottom in gunmetal. They say mid-waist, I say high-rise, whatever. It has medium back coverage and also high cut sides. For surfing, I love a high-waisted bottom along with just a top that's honestly one of my favorites the only thing i would say about these bottoms is that they do bunch a little bit in the butt i don't know if it's my butt size or what but yeah just food for thought if you get that style okay, next i got the swim sleeveless one piece in the color coco this color was also one that i just knew i had to have in my collection it's just a classic sleeveless one piece it's sports inspired and they even say perfect for active days staple in your lineup so I thought, oh yeah, great for surfing. Some features that I really like about it. I love that thick zipper. The material feels a little bit thin, so that's why I hold it at the bottom because I don't want it to rip. Not to say that it's like bad, but I just didn't want to chance them. Especially because this is not neoprene, you know, this is not wetsuit material. As far as like how it wears, everything feels really good in this. The butt feels better on this one than it does in that mid-rise because it doesn't bunch. It just looks really seamless and perfect. The only thing I would say is the arms are a little bit tight. It's not uncomfortable, but on me, I don't know, maybe it's just gotten bigger because of surfing. That is the cocoa piece that I'm just obsessed with. So I have three more styles to show and they're in the ochre color. Originally I wanted to get something more like this but sold out so I went with ochre. Starting off again with the scoop tank bikini top. I already talked about it in the gunmetal color but I got the top and then to match with it we got this one the swim cheeky tango bottom. Together of course cute colors love but specifically this bottom like is very interesting to me it's super high on the hip like if you just look at it it looks like a huge v right i know it's the style but i think i'm just not used to that lower dipped front and then the very high side in addition i feel like there's just a little bit too much fabric on the but and I know you might be thinking there's already no fabric because it's cheeky but to Hawaii girl standards this is like too much and also because I feel like it bunches a lot in the butt again so much bunching so I'd rather them just cut the fabric further and just make it a full-blown thong okay watch there's a clip though of just to compare the ones I already have to the cheeky tango bottoms that's the thing they're completely different styles and that's okay this cut personally is just not the best for me. Where I do like the cheeky tango bottoms is when I pair it with the sarong. And this is super cute, but again, this is a style where I just really didn't know what size to get. And it really threw me for a loop. Honestly, I only ordered one size when I got this one just because my cart was filling up and that was just getting too dang expensive but this is an extra small and there was a girl who got this skirt and she just got it in the size small but she was like oh i would really recommend just going to the extra small because it's really long it influenced me to size down and i did i can't even remember who that was it was so long ago i just really didn't want this to be too long i didn't want it to be dragging on the ground and this is the back I looked at the studio photos online and this sits higher on your back and you just kind of have to play with it a little bit and I think it's because maybe I should have just gotten the small and I have like a little bit wider of hips but you can see too that the fabric there's like holes in it right because it's supposed to look like fabric intertwined it's trying to do it naturally without it being a solidified skirt therefore if you're playing with it and you're trying to you know push it to this side or push it to that side depending on how you do it you might have to pull it a little bit through just so that hole doesn't show and that could have been my b for just not getting another size i was too stubborn even though i said it was my b with the sizing i am happy i got an extra small because it does hit my ankle just right at the back so for me the length is perfect 
Another note, it might bunch up and ride up just a little bit, but you just gotta keep adjusting it and pulling it down. And also, something to note is that when I wear it with the Tanga bottoms, there's no harsh lines. It doesn't look like you're wearing full-blown underwear or anything underneath. It looks very smooth and seamless, and that's something I really love about that duo. Since it is the same fabric as all the other swim material, like it can get wet, which I really like about it. I think this could be a really great piece for beach barbecues. If I go shoot photo shoot on the beach, this is a great layering piece because if you have to like get different shots. By the way, this is my photo shoot plug. If you're coming to Hawaii, specifically Oahu, and you are looking for a photographer, my style is very candid. You can go to my website, kirasole.com, if you want more information or you want to see my portfolio. I'm really flexible on pricing dates and times. You can email me if that's something that you're interested in and we can link up and do a photo shoot and it would be super fun. Okay, my overall thoughts about this line is that I really hope they restock it because even though I was one of the lucky ones to get so many pieces, I would definitely repurchase and try well, I just want these freaking mid-rise in like every color. This is like a perfect surf suit on its own. This top this bottom, highly recommend. I just wanted to add an extra note to the Skims video, the swim top. I wore it two days in a row surfing. Yesterday it was super fine and today I definitely felt uh, some rubbing and like chafing under my armpits so there's definitely like a little bit of a red rash so just food for thought if you want to get it for surfing. I was really happy with the material. It's very buttery. It's a nylon spandex blend, so it has great stretch and it's just form fitting. I was very surprised about how everything turned out. Like I was thinking, oh my God, I bought too much. I'm gonna return it all. But I ended up keeping the majority of it. When Skims decides to restock this, I hope this video helps you make a better purchase and decision when it comes to their swimwear. If there is another question that you have that I didn't answer, leave it in the comments below and I will try to get back to it. Obviously, my comment box is not flooding, so it shouldn't be a problem. I've washed them too. I actually just hand washed it with water and, and just laundry detergent and hung it on the line and it's fine. Yeah, and obviously they're ocean proof because I them in the ocean. Thanks for watching. If this helped in any way or answer your questions, give it a like uh, because that's what you do on YouTube. Thanks. Hopefully I make more content in the future. Okay, bye! Testing the bikinis to see how they wipe out. Make sure they still stay on. It's looking good still. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! My filmer! <laughs> I didn't even sign a contract yet. <laughs>